Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Akim, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. It's going to be a quick lesson uh, based on this article and a speech <laughs> that Sleepy Joe gave the other day. And I'm going to get some of the article because you got to pay to read the rest of it. It's from the Washington Post. And it says, Biden stark warning, the U.S. is threatened by its own citizens. And I want to bring this out because division, separatism, and a nation being divided is uh, really a major uh, part of Bible prophecy, especially in these end days. Because before a system collapse, you got uh, two sides pointing the finger at each other. All right. So let's get into this. It says, uh, when American presidents reserve the primetime hour to address the nation on grave threats facing the country, they are almost always focused on external forces, the Soviet Union, foreign terrorism, or even the, uh, zombie, the zombie virus. So they're making a point that, hey, usually it's some threat that a president or official will go after. But in this case, it wasn't some outside threat. It was its own citizenry, man. So really think about that, all right? It lets you know what they're getting plan planning on doing. But when the President Biden stood before the Independence Hall in Philadelphia on Thursday night, he wanted that American democracy stands at the uh, pre uh, precipice because of a deceitly, decidedly different threat, one that he said comes from within the country's borders. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Right. And I'm not going to go into the election and who won it or who didn't win it. But if you just go by the official story, it was so close that they had to, uh, you know, uh, draw, you know, have it draw out for a long way to see you know, to see who actually got the so-called presidency. Right. So a majority of the country. Right. Uh, was on Trump's side. So that tells you a lot, man. It tells you a lot that half the country is he's he's marking them as extremists and basically call them terrorists, all right? In a, in a, in, a, in a straightforward way. And when he uh, gave that speech, you can see how he was positioned uh, with a red background, and you had two uh, look like uh, generals in the back, man. <laughs> it made it look like uh, you know a scene from a movie where somebody is giving that final speech. Before the chaos uh, erupts, a lot of foreshadowing, all right? It's a lot of foreshadowing and imagery uh, was pushed out during that speech. Let's go into uh, some Bible scriptures. That, that's what it's about, right? Let's go into the book of Matthew, chapter twenty, chapter 12. Start at, let's start at twenty, verse 25. He says, And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And that's a major prophecy of uh, of America, a.k.a. Mystery Babylon in the Bible. It's going to become the world's largest desert, according to Scripture. It says, And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. For shall then his kingdom stand? How, how shall then his kingdom stand? Right. So as they go back and forth, because really this is through the spirit and through the, the, the minds of the, the real leaders, right, the real authorities, the real people in control on this earth, which is above these so-called presidents and prime ministers and officials, the, uh, the hidden hands, you can understand. They want this thing to go down. They want this civil war to take place. They want people at each other's throats. They want a whole new system to be ushered in. But guess what? They have to bring down uh, this first system. And the, and, the, and the best way to bring down the system is through chaos. That's how you get the order out of chaos or order out of chaos phrase that you have a lot of the elite uh, talk about when you actually uh, uh, read documents or read books about their speeches or claims uh, that they said in their, uh, quotes. That's the word I'm looking for. Quotes that they that they said in the past. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go into the book of Second uh, Ezra chapter 15. I start at verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. 
and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right. So you're going to have a civil war out here, man. You're going to have people going at each other. Right. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes because it's going to come a time. Uh, you had the World Economic Forum. Mr. Sh Mr. Klaus Schwab, who said, prepare for an angrier world, man. You know, you got energy prices going through uh, the roof. You got these uh, fiat currencies being debased, becoming toilet paper day by day. All right. You got people uh, losing their investments in these markets. You got everything going uh, downhill right now. People are getting pissed and they're going to go at each other. That's the point. That division. All right. It's written about right here in this Bible. I'm reading about it. So they're not, they're not going to regard what Biden is talking about. Because half the country sees him as what? They say that he's he stole the election. They see him as a fraudulent leader, right? And that's not only going to happen in America. It's going to happen in a lot of these Western uh, countries before they bring in this top-down, right, uh, mark of the beast uh, system, which is going to uh, basically end with the, uh, the implantable chip which will be used to buy or sell. That's on the way. So keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, it says, They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? Let's get uh, one more. This is going to be quick. Because these people are upset about the, uh, the uh, speech that Biden just gave, meaning... Uh, the ones he just uh, classified <laughs> as extremisms and extremists and terrorists, right? The MAGA, the MAGA Republicans, as he kept saying over and over in his speech, as being a threat to society. All right, uh, these people are upset. These people are angry, right? And and the writing is on the wall, man. This is Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule. The people mourn and the people are mourning. People are upset. People can't afford uh, rent, mortgages, food. All right. The American dream or American nightmare uh, it, it has gone out the window. Right. The different generations can't afford uh, to go out, start families. All right. They are living with their parents still. Living uh, paycheck to paycheck. It was a, uh, I forgot what stat, statistic. But it was uh, damn near 60 percent of the country. Uh, if they had a four hundred dollar emergency, they would have no way of paying it. Right. They would have no way of paying it. So, hey, this system and these people are on the edge. Their back is against the wall. And as Gerald Salente, uh, the, what was that guy, a trends forecaster, always says, when people don't have anything left to lose, they lose it. And that's really what the elite are pushing these uh, these citizens, or goyim as they call it, uh, pushing them to. All right? Well, that was the point. I just wanted to bring that out. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Shalom, next time.